Whoa. This is a whole lot. I don't think I'm going to take all of that. Okay. So we have suffering in silence. Burdens. Haters. Bystander. Deception. Obstacles. Everything backfired. Pisces. They want to have you stuck. So this could be you who went through this. This could be someone that you're attached to, someone that you have detached from. This could be someone who wants to come towards you, different people that they are attached to, different people that they have detached from. This is masculine and feminine energy, past, present, or near future. So you have to take what resonates and leave what does not. Somebody is suffering in silence. These are people that are burdened. These were people that were haters. And um, they could have been, this bystander, I'm going to com confirm what that is. And um, these are people that could have been standing by or they wanted somebody to stand by. As deception was caused, obstacles was caused. For you, these are people that were trying to burden you, deceive you, cause obstacles for you. But everything backfired. They wanted to have you stuck. Now they're suffering in silence. You could be a Pisces. That person could be a Pisces. Yeah. Eight of Swords is here. So whoever these people are that were bystanders, they're at the Eight of Swords. These are people that could be in spiritual jail. And they were just sitting, standing by, like behind the scenes, watching you trying to cause obstacles, deception, burdens. Because they're haters. And they wanted to have you stuck because they're at the Eight of Swords stuck in spiritual jail. As they're in this physical realm, they don't know. Yeah, the fool card is here. It's like you you went towards a whole nother direction. You're on a journey. You went towards a whole nother path. Or you're on the right path. And they're stuck. They wanted to have you stuck. Yeah, these are people that are toxic. They're binding and binding to a lot of bad karmic debt. That's why they're at the Eight of Swords. These are karmics. Stuck in a karmic cycle. And they wanted to have you stuck. They wanted to have someone else stuck. Yeah, Ace of Wands is here. It's going to be someone who wanted to take action towards you and they wanted that person to be stuck. Yeah, the chariot is here. Then the hair font is here. They didn't want this person to take action towards you. This is someone that's very loyal. They look at you as someone that's like a hair font, very inspiring, inspirational. And um, they wanted to come towards you. They knew this person would be moving forward in life. Yeah. Page of Pentacles is here. And then the star card is here. Yeah. These are people that could have gotten readings and found out this person was someone that was chosen. The star card, Page of Pentacles, they found out some type of new information about this person and they have been trying to have that person stuck. They were behind the scenes doing a lot of stuff to cause burdens for you, deception for you because they were haters. Yeah, they wanted to throw obstacles in that path. They seen you on your journey, going towards a whole nother direction, or just on the right path. And they thought they would send obstacles to you, but what they did not know is that they were stuck eight of swords is here in a self-made prison from a long time ago. Yeah, high priestess is here. This is stuff that was hidden to them. They didn't know. These are people that do a lot of stuff in the dark. And they could have been trying to play in your energy and you're someone that's a high priestess and that's how they got exposed. You're someone that's very intuitive, very gifted. You could be a psychic. You could be someone who reads tarot. And that's how you could have found out as they were playing in your energy, like behind the scenes, watching you, trying to burden you, trying to deceive you, trying to throw obstacles your way. But now they're suffering in silence as everything backfired. Yeah, they wanted to confuse your intuition. 
high priestess and seven of cups, you knew some type of hidden knowledge and they wanted to throw confusion around you. And yeah, they knew you would be someone that's at the six of wands having victory and success. Because you're someone that's chosen. Yeah, ten of pentacles is here, eight of pentacles. It's like you were in this energy where you were working hard, focusing on yourself, minding your business, focusing on what you want for your future. Ten of Pentacles is here. They know you have a Ten of Pentacles. You know you have a Ten of Pentacles. They thought they would cause some type of confusion, put you in an illusion, and it did not work. It backfired. You work hard to get where you are. Ace of Swords is here. Yeah. Yeah. You're someone that already knew truth and clarity or gained truth and clarity. That's why you were able to move forward. They didn't want this person to move forward. Whoever this person is that wanted to take action towards you. Yeah, the hair finding high priestess. This could have literally been your twin as these are twins. And um, it's like this, whoever this hair find is, they were coming towards you. The chariot is here. And they hadn't got readings and found out this person was chosen. So they figured that they were trying to confuse you. High priestess put you in some type of illusion and a confusion. And they would have that person at the eight of swords stuck. Binded, blinded, and tied up. And it backfired. Yeah, Queen of Wands is here. This could be someone that's an Aries, Leo, or a Sagittarius that um, got behind the scenes and they were doing this with other people as bystanders is here. Yeah, this is someone that was secretly in competition with you, secretly trying to one-up you, secretly trying to create obstacles for you because they wanted to be you. Yeah, this person wanted to look like you, walk like you, talk like you, when they found out you were someone that's chosen. So they figure if they can play in your energy, watch everything you do, and then copy it. Try to steal your persona. They will have some type of victory and success. Because they've seen you at the Six of Wands. They will at least suspect that everything will backfire, and they're suffering in silence. They had to burden their self for walking in this devil energy. Yeah, as this almost popped out in the reverse. This person wanted to manifest, but in a negative way. They were playing with trickery behind the scenes. Like, this person is someone that's very tricky. So they were trying to confuse different people. You could have stood up and you knew a lot of hidden knowledge or you were speaking the truth about something. This person could have been watching you read tarot and they were trying to throw stuff at you to confuse you. Because they were a hater. You're someone that's in this musician energy. You're someone that's um, very creative and have foresight of your future. You're someone that's a healer, a spiritual teacher. Yeah, and you're someone that's woke. Six of Pentacles in the reverse. And then Eight of Wands is here. Yeah, they didn't want whoever this person is that wants to come towards you. They didn't want that person to think that you were their equal or something like that. They didn't want this person to think that you were someone that would be equal with them or equal give and take or something like that. Yeah, page of pentacles in the reverse. This person was solely trying to block off all communication. They didn't want that person to communicate with you. No, you're not going to communicate with your twin. This person that's here to help you get woke. As they were secretly sending conflict to this person, trying to cause chaos or havoc. This person is someone that, that have a lot of drama going on. They like to be in the middle of a lot of drama and chaos to get attention. So people can look at them in certain lights. And they're causing all of this chaos and drama. And they'll sit back and talk about those people in a negative way. And they, you know, created the chaos behind the scenes. Secretly. Yeah, Six of Cups in the reverse. This is somebody that did not want this person to let go of the past or something like that. They didn't want this person to reunite with you. They knew that you and this person shared a past life together. And they did something to place like some type of binding magic on this person and figured that they had to secretly one up you. Five of Wands is here. This person would be stuck to them. They didn't know that they were at the Eight of Swords in spiritual jail. Yeah, Queen of Cups is here. It's like you could be someone that's a Cancer, Pisces, or a Scorpio. And this person um, knew that this person was in love with you. They could have knew that you were pouring out love to this person, genuinely um, someone that's very kind-hearted. And they thought it was sweet. You were someone that was naive. You were someone that they can get behind the scenes and cause a lot of burdens, deception, obstacles for you. Well, at least suspect. 
Yeah, they had them place these burdens on their own back. Ten of Swords. I mean, <laughs> Ten of Wands is here. Yeah, this person could be at the Ten of Swords. Getting ready to go through a harsh, painful ending that they don't see. If they were playing with curses and hexes, they would least expect. Yeah, the Moon card is here. This person was doing a lot of stuff in secret. It's like this person was secretly playing with spell work. Whatever they were doing in the dark as you're in this high priestess energy, they got exposed. Especially if they were trying to bind your twin. You exposed it. Yeah, you found out this person's hidden secrets as they were playing in your energy trying to confuse you because they knew this person wanted to come towards you. They knew you and this person were twins and they were secretly trying to compete with you. Yeah, two of cups is here. They knew that you and this person would partner up, work together, things like that. You could have worked with this person. Yeah, five of cups is here. This person, whoever your twin is, is in regret for even partnering up with this person, working with this person. They didn't do nothing but take losses as they were attached to this five of wands energy. This devil energy. Yeah, because they were placing spell work over them in that person, not you. You weren't attached to this energy. Your twin was. You weren't attached to your twin. This person was desperately trying to make sure the magic did not hit you by keeping you, trying to keep your twin confused from coming towards you. And they didn't know. Are they under mind control? Yeah, Seven of Swords is here. This person was at the Seven of Swords being sneaky and deceptive behind the scenes. Like they thought they were smarter than you and that person. Yeah, this is somebody that had them stole from them. Seven of Swords, they could have set this person up, caused a lot of confusion around them. Yeah, but they got exposed. Whatever they did to, whatever they stole from this person or set them up, they was at the Five of Cups in regret. As, as they had to start seeing stuff for what it is. The Sun card is here and this person got exposed for whatever they were doing secret. In the, in the dark. Yeah, Three of Swords is here. Because this almost popped out in the reverse. So this person, they wanted this person to be heartbroken or depressed or something like that so they can keep them confused. But it did not work. Whoever this energy is, they're suffering in silence. Because everything backfired. They wanted to keep somebody stuck and they didn't realize they were only keeping their self stuck by wanting to have someone stuck. Make it make sense. Yeah, everything was rejected. Four of Cups is here. This person is someone that's very insecure. They felt rejected. They knew that they would be rejected. So they figured they'd try to one-up that person with spell work. As they were already placing spell work over this person. But they got behind the scenes and got gritty and grimy. Seven of Swords is here. Trying to set that person up. Plotting scheme. Trying to set you up. Plotting and scheming. Yeah. And they done got exposed. Because you had not exposed this person a long time ago. Yeah, the Hermit card is here and Three of Cups is here. And then the Emperor and Eight of Cups. Yeah. So it's like this person ended up isolating themselves from this person. Yeah, as they were in isolation, they want to connect with you. Three of Cups. They want to reconcile with you after walking away from a confused mindset. Eight of Cups and then the Emperor is here. It's like they knew when this person isolated their self, they could have isolated their self from, you know, going to gatherings, kicking it, partying, getting drunk, getting high, or whatever was having them attached to this toxic energy. They isolated away from that. And um, this person, you know, is in this emperor energy. They walked away from a confused mindset. This person had them confused. Yeah, the king of swords is here. And then Nine of Cups is here. They were happy when they cut this person off. They were more at peace. More at their wish fulfillment. Yeah. When they walked away from this person or this energy that caused all a lot of chaos and conflict and got a lot of drama going on, they were in this King of Swords and they were happy that they had not cut this person off. Yeah. At their wish fulfillment. Happy by their self. And this person could not stand it. How dare you be happy? It's just that. Yeah, tower is here. This took this person through a tower moment. How dare you isolate yourself as this person had to try to do something for this person to be isolated away from you. And didn't realize then everything would backfire and come out and this would create a tower. Because this person is at the eight of swords, blinded, blinded, and stuck. 
they're blinded from the truth. They're blinded to whatever they're playing with. They don't know they're doing it to their self and people that they're attached to. When this person detached, they were more at peace and happy. And this pissed this person off. They went through a tower that they didn't see. Yeah, two of pentacles is here. And then justice is here. Yeah, this person, they're trying to figure out how can they balance this situation out. Two of pentacles and justice is here. Queen of Pentacles. And then King of Cups. Yeah. So whoever this person is, they could be a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio. Queen of Pentacles is here. You're someone that have been focusing on your finances as you have been in isolation or in solitude. And um, in hermit mode. Or after this person ghosted you. You had to level up. And this person was stuck in the same energy at the five of one, secretly competing with you, secretly trying to get people to see them in certain lights that was not their own. You chose to focus on yourself. You're someone that works very hard for whatever it is that you want out of life. Taking care of your health, focusing on your stability, nurturing everything around you. Yeah, the world is here. It's like this person needed to complete a toxic cycle out. This was a bad toxic cycle. Not only was this person that was someone that was chaotic and everything would backfire on them that they would do behind the scenes. This person just needed to wake up to that. King of Swords. Nine of Cups. They needed to wake up to that. And isolate themselves, distance themselves so they could be happy. And complete this cycle out that they were in with this person. Because this person is in a never-ending cycle, just going through conflict, chaos, deception, burdens, obstacles. Because they are a hater. They walk in envy and jealousy. And it's like they're trapped in that energy. Eight of swords, stuck. Bonded, blinded, and tied up. Yeah, and they're stressing them out. They're in fear. This person is stressed out because the cycle has been completed. It's closed. Yeah, Ten of Swords is here. This person going straight into the Ten of Swords. Nine of Swords going straight into the Ten of Swords. It's like this person had done did a lot of stuff to try to pin you down for harsh, painful endings and you at least expect. They did not know that they were doing it to their self. You were already on the chariot. This person is mentally unstable. Yeah. It's like once this cycle was completed, they got so pissed off and they got behind the scenes in fear. And they had to did something to try to cause harm to this person or to you. Could have been both because they knew this person would be connecting with you. Knight of Cups is here. Yeah, this person had to gain their strength back. They knew once this person come towards you, they would uh, grow or evolve after going through so much. Yeah, the lovers is here. It's like they were trying to prevent this person from coming towards you to um, get into a divine um, contract. As they had to close a cycle out that was a karmic soul contract. Yeah. Knight of Swords is here. They were pissed off. They're mad because they couldn't break up this connection or this bond. This is spiritually protected as they were playing with spell work at the Eight of Swords and did not know. This person is in an illusion and a confusion. That's why they wanted to place illusions and confusion around that person. Trying to place it around you and they're sitting back going through judgment. This is pissing them off. How dare everything backfire. <laughs> I'm so dumb, man. I cannot. Temperance is here. Yeah. How, how are these people at peace? How did they balance their self out? Is that they did everything to try to confuse you? Confuse that person? To have you in balance, that person in balance. How are they still balancing out masculine and feminine energy? How are they still grounded in their stability? <laughs> yeah, the will of fortune is here and Queen of Swords is here. It's like whoever this person they cut off, they knew about this destiny and this purpose. 
and they knew this person would have good luck if they came towards you they would be walking in this will of fortune so they figured that they would try to hold on to that person for pinnacles this year but this is somebody that they needed to hold back from because this person knew about this destiny and this purpose before they did that was the only reason why they were trying to throw spell work over that person and you. The only reason why they were trying to compete with you so that person couldn't come towards you. And that person would be at the Seven of Cups confused. This person could have did something like to place like some type of drug, something in their drugs or something like this person drunk or, um, you know, did drugs with this person. Something was laced or something like that or put in their cup to keep their, their mind confused and they didn't know. They didn't know just how evil this person was or toxic until they cut this person off and they were more at peace, peace of mind, happy, wish fulfillment. Yeah, and this is how this person was. As they were in this energy trying to control something that they did not have control over, that's how everything backfired. Seven of Wands is here. They did not know that this was blocked off. Whatever they were trying to get to. This person was delusional. They thought that they could um, keep this person on the wrong path and walk into a divine path. This is how um, <laughs> I have them thinking they were walking into a divine path and they both would be confused. <laughs> I'm so dumb. Yeah, four of swords is here. And then nine of wands is here. Yeah, this person that did something over and over again. They caused something... This person would have, could have been casting isolation spells over this person just so they can stay in isolation. And they didn't know that it would backfire and this person would isolate themselves from them. Yeah. Whatever they were trying to throw at you, you're not even attached to this person. So how could it hit you? This person is making sure that your twin is in a, uh, isolation or something or causing obstacles so they won't come towards you. How could it attach you? How could any of it hit you of just hitting your twin to force them to isolate away from this person? Cleanse their self and heal their self. Rehabilitate. <laughs> make it make sense. Yeah, this person's at the two of swords, blinded from the true plan with stuff they know nothing about. And somebody is sitting back nervous because they lied to try to isolate. It was multiple people that lied to try to keep this person away from you. And they were helping this energy that was keeping them at the eight of swords and placing spell work over them. And they didn't know. They don't know what this person, I was just getting ready to say, they don't know what this person was doing behind the scenes. What all they were off into. And they were collaborating with this person. And it's like everything backfired on this person. As they're attached to this person, it's backfiring on them too because they collaborated with this person to try to blind this person from the truth. Your twin. Yeah. They were desperate to stay in this Eight of Swords energy for a lot of bad karmic debt. Yeah, multiple people. Yeah, Six of Swords is here and Nine of Wands is here. This is somebody that they needed to distance themselves from that was trying to play. This person was literally just a Knight of Wands. Somebody that they were having sex with. This person got so pissed off when they found out this person was chosen. They had a destiny. They had a purpose. You and them had it together. They got behind the scenes and tried to place burdens as they were suffering in silence. They could no longer get this person to have sex with them after they walked away from a confused mindset. This person has multiple entity attachments or place, um, placed on them. Yeah. The hangman is here. And then five of pentacles is here. Yeah. It's like this person is in this hangman energy. And at the five of pentacles, physically, mentally, and spiritually out in the cold. Lost. Where they were when they first picked up whatever they were doing. They were out in the cold on the knowledge. That's how they ended up getting stuck. Yeah, and it's like if this person put them out, was no longer attached to them, didn't want them around their house, they want that person to be stuck. Hey, man. This person could have got wrapped up after they put this person out. Or stopped talking to this person or distanced themselves from this person person was doing everything they could to burden this person down so they would not come in union for wands this here because they were tracking getting readings researching something that they don't even have control over yeah this union ten of cups it's like they knew this person was secretly admiring their ultimate happiness and you were their twin they were pissed off about that yeah this person is in love with you ace of cups is here they couldn't confuse this person. 
Yeah, King of Wands is here. And then the Death card is here. Nine of Pentacles is here. And then Knight of Pentacles. Yeah. So whoever this King of Wands is, they could be an Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. This could have been somebody that they hired to, um, after they separated themselves from them, they had this person trying to distract them. This could have been somebody that was close to them. And they were close to that person too. Yeah. Ace of Pentacles is here. They were trying to distract this person from coming towards you. To have a new beginning. Whoever this King of Wands is. This person. This is you at this Nine of Pentacles. You're someone that's single, self-sufficient, abundant, a boss. You stand on your own two feet. You're someone that's very successful. And you work hard to get to this energy. And it's like, um, they were trying to help this person distract you. I mean, distract this person. Whoever this king of wands, they could have been trying to distract you or play some type of illusion over you behind the scenes with this person. Yeah. Three of wands is here. These are two people that got behind the scenes and they made different. They made a decision that was unknown. They made a decision to try to cause harm to you. And they didn't want that person to know. Yeah, two of wands is here. These are people that sat back and planned this out. Yeah, and they were sitting back watching you as they were planning this out. Trying to figure out how could they cause harm to you? How could they get you out of here? Yeah. <laughs> These are people that were trying to sabotage the connection. All because they wanted that person to be stuck. Eight of swords. Body blinded and tied up. Yeah. How could they get you out of here? Is what they were thinking. These people that had to defeat it themselves. It's like they're reaping whatever they have sown as everything had them backfire. And they're suffering in silence. They didn't know they were taking their self out of here. Whatever they were investing in, they didn't know. They would have to reap whatever they had unsown. Yeah. Because you're someone that's a divine being. The Empress is here. Yeah. These are people that were blinded and binded from the truth. They didn't know. They were too busy digging a grave for themselves. That they can't, they're not going to be able to get out of. I'm going to pull something from the soul's journey. Lesson cards. Envious here. So these are people that were very envious of this connection. As five of swords had just popped out, but they wanted to keep it hidden. It's like these are people that got behind the scenes and just started researching you and this person's twin, you and this person's uh union, past life that y'all had together, and different stuff like that. But they didn't want that person to know. They figured they'd keep that person at the seven of cups confused, constantly trying to place stuff in their drinks and different stuff like that, placing spell work over them. So they were envious. Yeah. And one person was secretly in competition with you. This other person was secretly like wishing ill will or something like that. So it's like whoever this person is, this king of wands, they were trying to, um, it's like this person wanted to come towards you, king of wands. It's like this person wanted you to be attracted to them. And they wanted your twin out of here. Whoever this energy is, this uh, Queen of Wands, they wanted to uh, keep your twin attached to them and they wanted you out of here. Yeah. And it's like one person was envious of your twin that they were attached to. Another person was envious of you that they had detached from. And this person was only helping this person out because they wanted to keep your twin binded to that person or attached to that person or stuck around that person, something like that. So they wouldn't come towards you because they wanted you to have passion for them or attraction for them. So they both had hidden agendas behind the scenes. The person could have literally hired this king of wands to cause harm to you, but they were wishing death on your twin and not you. Yeah, because they were trying to get you to be attracted to them. 
services here. I feel good when I can help others. Yeah, grief is here and growth. These are people in regret because whatever they did, it only made you grow. It only gave you growth to expand your consciousness and your awareness. And they're in regret. They're in grief. I understand that losing something is an opportunity to appreciate it. Yeah, it's like they're grieving. Whatever they did, it backfired and it only caused you to grow and it caused this person to detach from both individuals. It caused this person to go through some type of transformation. This could have been people that they were literally trying to help with service being here. I feel good when I can help others. And this is what they were doing behind the scenes to create obstacles and deceptions and burdens. All of hate and envy. And they're in regret. Courage is here. I find the inner strength to face fear with confidence. So, yeah, this person is someone that gained their strength, their courage back. And they, you know, realized that they needed to face fear with confidence, whatever they were fearing. Yeah, whoever this person is, that's your twin. It's like they needed to gain their strength back. That's why they isolated away from this person. As soon as it's like they didn't know that it would backfire. The same people that were doing stuff to them and. Oh, excuse me. They wanted your twin to isolate their self from you. It immediately backfired. Your twin isolated their self from them. They no longer even wanted to be attached to those people. They no longer wanted to go out and kick it with those people. They were kicking it in the house. Harmon mode is here. And these are people that just were standing by. Suffering in silence. As everything was backfiring that they were trying to send out. Yeah, causing this person to gain courage in their strength as they were more at peace. After they had to lay the situation to rest, the death card is here. I am learning that endings are merely beginnings. It's like this person needed to end this out. And these are people that did the work as they're under heavy mind control. By the energy that they walk in and they can't control. Yeah. Yeah. Peace is here. Yeah, this person was more at peace and happy. I am be a being of love and I release all negative energy. You could be in Herman mode at peace. Because you had to release all negative energy. Detached. And you were more at peace. This person is in that same energy after they ended a toxic cycle out that needed to be completed. Yeah, these people are in guilt. That person was in guilt. They needed to relieve what that release whatever belief system or beliefs that no longer so serve in their soul's growth for them to be able to move forward, to walk in their divine path. They needed to release those beliefs in those people that were trying to keep them stuck in a jacked up belief system. Humor is here. I choose to focus on the lighter side of life. Yeah. This person chose to fo focus on whatever makes them happy. Yeah, judgment is here. I understand that everyone has their own unique path and challenges. These are people that needed to go through judgment, go through karma. So they can realize they had no control over you and this person's path. Or, you know, you and this person being chosen to have a purpose. They had to sit back and mirror whatever they were sending out. And they're suffering in silence. They don't want this person to know. Yeah, purpose is here. I know what I am here to do. They don't want this person to know, but this person know that they have a purpose. They know what they're here to do. And these are people that need to, that had to surrender. Because they were trying to control something, someone else's purpose. And they don't even know that, they, you know, they don't even know what their purpose is. They were too busy focused on something that they had no control over. That's why they don't have control over their own purpose. Yeah, pride is here. I love myself and I see myself in everyone. And then imagination. This person could have been in an energy where they were so prideful. As they were attached to uh, low vibrational energy that kept this person uh, like with a big ego. Yeah, and imagination. They were in an illusion and a confusion. <laughs> 
that was only keeping them under judgment. <laughs> yeah, freedom is here. This person needed to set their self free. Yeah, it's like this person has set their self free. I possess the power and the free will to create my own happiness. Yeah. As they even got by their self and they realized that they, you know, what makes them happy and stuff like that. They started to focus on the lighter side of life. Focusing on things that makes them happy. And that's it. Not negativity. And these are people that are in regret, suffering in silence. That's everything at the backfire. This is sad. <laughs> Yeah, happiness is here. I am aware that, that being happy means that I am on the right path. The person realized as they were more at peace, more happy, content by their self, they realized they were on the right path as they were releasing negative energy and setting their self free from bondage, blindage. 